could it be that the person coming in, even but the the language barrier was taken away, right? They had the interpreter, and yeah. but it could be she's really shy. It looks like there's some um, extreme attachment with the mother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That maybe if if Fadea was socialized more, maybe she would be like her brother. That you know, it sounds like she was enrolled in preschool, but I don't know if they're going. It doesn't. It, it's not real clear, is it? I mean, it just says that she, it doesn't sound like she's going to preschool, to me. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> she's in preschool. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not sure she's going. Because she was so, atta- like, physically attached. But it could be stranger anxiety. But stranger anxiety is what we see in younger children, right? So this seems a little bit more, it could be shiny. Well, I think, go to three-year-olds and tell me some of the things that you guys researched when it comes to social-emotional. So I would argue that she's having a hard time with Tamina, Jada. Are you distracting each other? You're just giggling? Just giggling. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, it sounds to me, and I don't know anything, I don't think we have a big picture enough, but like we just have this snapshot. It sounds to me like the daughter is not socialized enough. That's what I think. But but it could it could be right. It could be she has the interpreter there. She has the parents' teacher person there. Maybe if she was there in a more casual situation, or maybe if the parents' teacher person asked him, where, tell me some instances where Fadia is actually playing with, not actually, but is playing with other children. What does that look like? Because then we can get a better idea. But I think that's an element we have to think we have to consider. All we have is a snapshot right now, and that's what parents when they get into their homes, they only get like a snapshot and they have to say, well, what can we do to kind of see where that child's at? I don't know what to think about Hamid. He's just sleeping. That's all. I think that's all we know. Yes? Uh, are those right? And what would like drawing be? Well, physically, you have to use your hand, right? And then cognitively, because uh, they have to, they know what a shape is. And then if he said, this is a triangle, then that's linguistic. Wait, is that I just told you. So if you, okay, let me ask you this. If I'm doing this, what is this? No, I wrote she. Oh. You finished? Yeah. Okay. So show me with your fingers how many questions you answered. Two, four, six, six. Zero, four, two, one. Okay. All right. I just want to see where everybody's at right now. Because we have like two minutes before my time when I wanted to assess where you were.
Make sure you're as detailed as possible in your answers because it's going to help you with the second part of this. If you don't have a lot of detail, it's going to be really hard. So maybe go back and look at your questions again if you're finished. Yeah? So when I'm like explaining what he could, could do, should I add like, oh. and that is like, where he is socially? Mm -hmm. That'll help you too. If you label things, social, emotional, cognitive, moral, physical, then, hi, keep working. Wait, what is what? that? It what is what? Bring children here, age That is Blue Day. We're going to kindergarten, and the other child development class is going to get to bring children. Why? Because kindergarten wouldn't allow the eighth block class to go because they are, it's too late. They're sleeping that time. So what I did was I just said, okay, we'll go to kindergarten. They'll bring in people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm confused. It says, how can you stimulate um, for data's fine motor development? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So, like, so how what do is you increase her development? Right, because right now, can, what can she do? She can, like, draw, draw what? A dot, yeah. just a dot. So we need to get her to be able to increase her fine motor, which is her physical development. So what what could you do to increase her fine motor? Okay, so I'm, this is interesting. I'm seeing varying degrees of where people are at. So. I want to touch. I want to touch base with you to see um, how we can move forward and kind of speed this up a little bit too. So I'm going to turn on the music for a second. So we talked about in number one already is what can Ahmed and Fadea do? What do they do developmentally? We've already talked about that, okay? But now, what concerns do you have regarding the children? I'd like you to start processing that with people at your team. So um, grab three poker chips. You're going to have to go back to your team real quick. Move it. Move it. Three poker chips. And I want you to say one concern you have for each child. The person that's going to start is the number one at your table group. Okay? So let's start with Ahmed. What, do you, what concerns do you have? All right, go. What concern do you have for Ahmed? It's your turn. If you don't have a concern for a child, you don't have to make one up either. You can try to make a connection, but if you don't, it's okay. You can say, I don't have a concern. Okay, keep going. If you don't have a concern, say no concern, then it goes to Claire. lot of concerns about Fidea.
Want your sheet, honey? This isn't a test. <laughs> Oh yeah. How are we, what are we gonna say about? Him? He was sleeping. It's kind of hard to assess him, right? That's true. When your group's done sharing all three kids, go ahead and move back to your questions, and then we're going to do another break with more poker chips in a few minutes. But make sure everyone said theirs before you stop. Everyone has to share their three poker chips. All right, did everybody share here? Are you sharing, Claire? Oh, you guys have to go. Okay. For Hamid? Okay, then you don't have anything. Do you have anything for Hamid? What do you have? Mm-hmm. Yep. The several layers thing is kind of throwing me. The several layers. I don't know why. That several layers of blankets is throwing me a little bit. I just don't think she needs several layers. That seems awfully hot. Several layers of blankets for Hamid. Well, and if she, and if, and... Yeah, but if he's sleeping, I get that he's sleeping, but it just makes me think, I don't know, when I had my boys at six months, I didn't hold them the whole time. I put them in their crib to sleep, but maybe it's a cultural thing, too. I don't know. Yes, it can, and that's, that's the whole point, is this is very open-ended. All right, so let's get through some of the other ones. If you're done with your seven, um, you can go ahead and do other standards until everyone's done at your table group, and then we're going to answer one question together. That's fine. Because it make, I, when I read those questions, I was like, those seem like it almost be the, if you're If you were thorough in number three, it takes care of number six. Yeah, because I said, like, she should be doing this, but in reality, she's doing it. Right. No, you're fine. So if you get through one and seven and you're done, but we have to wait for our team, go ahead and work on other standards. Um, I have a question. So do you think Ahmed would be lacking in, like, social emotional? Because it doesn't say, like, he's playing with other yeah. kids. Well, we don't, if he had another kid there, we could determine that, but we can only view what we have here. I mean, it sounds like, though, that he was happy and social and he played on the playground. So we don't really know social besides he's able to communicate with the parents as teacher person. We don't know how he is with friendships, right? So we can't assess that. Good question. All right, Mary, do you have any standards you can work on that are fives? Can't sleep. <laughs> yes. Sure. Fill out a pass in the clipboard. Uh-huh. 
I know. I have this thing you do I just you have to copy and paste it into the. These, I have to find these, but I, I know where I'm gonna put. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But do I have to send it to you? Yeah. Wait. Okay. So you have to answer a question, like ask a question, and answer with this, because this is no. the thing that goes in this. No, that just goes in that. So what is the thing that we have to answer? Ask questions and answer. So go to the PowerPoint. Go down here. You have to analyze all the videos. Yeah, you've just been walking in. Just what are we doing? Yeah, you got some catching up to do. <laughs> you guys need to get together and work on another weekend. All right, so keep working, and in seven minutes, we're going to do another thing with the poker chips. Okay, so you have to have something to contribute about your standard what So I haven't put in all the grades yet for U4, S2, U4, S3, U4, S4. So you want me to put that in there? You can look at your grade then? Cha-cha, yeah. you want to look at your grade then? Yeah. Okay. I got to take attendance. <laughs> at least you're honest. I just said, at least you're honest. Well, I, mean, I, just, I, I do have standards. I have all standards in my notebook that have turned in. Well, you got to turn them in. <laughs> I have U2S4, U2S5, it all in here. I have it turned Yeah, you may want to check your grade now. Well, good. I need all those. I can't I grade them. Yeah, you should turn it. <laughs> I mean, I turned in the three well, just look, uh, just look at your grade. Just look at your grade. Go ahead, check your grade, Demita. Come on. Do I have to do it? Do I have to do it? You happy now? <laughs> I can't change your algebra grade, babe. Wait, it's not bad. I mean, it's probably uh -huh. better than something. Yeah, do you want me to put in some more? No. There was just a few of them. Wait. <laughs> I'll put them all in. How about that? <laughs> I'll just put zeros in, not fives, since you don't seem to care. Let's see what that looks like. No, that's all right. We'll just, you know, do you have to do it? I don't know. Let's do this. This will get your attention. Refresh your page. I am good. How's that? What? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't put any grades in for the S2, U4, S2, S3, S4, because I wanted to give you guys time to do it. <laughs> okay, now you're going to work? Okay, good, that's great. I just said I'm not going to do it. I'm going to ask you. I know. I have a C in life. One class. <laughs> All right, in about five minutes, we're going to do another poker chip activity. Oh, unit four is completely different than what I had. I reorganized it completely. Um, 
Amir or Fadia? Ahmed or Hamid? Because she's like bundling him up. Well, you don't know because you don't. He's not awake, so we can't assess it. There's no way we can assess it. Yeah, we really don't know. And maybe he doesn't sleep well in his crib and she has to hold him. I don't know. We don't know that. Yeah, it's not clear cut. It's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Okay, I'm finished. You going to put your name on it? <laughs> okay, I have like three more to give to you. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, guys, you have to turn those fabulous facts if you want extra credit. Where you put all the pictures on one document and then you give it to me and then I give you extra credit. Then that would work for you too. Are you done? Yep. But don't. Sh well, you can share it now because we're going to answer one other question at the end. Yeah, some people don't know how to do it. If you send it to your email, then you can download it, and then you can put it in a document. No, I ain't taking a drawn picture. No, I'm taking the real picture. I can't draw a picture for this diagram. Oh, I thought we were talking about fabulous facts. You can't draw a picture. I'm not taking that. Wow, you're really going for those extra credit points. Maybe you should just do a standard. Wait, when do you stop taking them? Because like, um, I have to, like, save them. Same I'm thing. stop taking them on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. What? Because it's for the six-week grading period, and then I'll do it again. Hasn't it been, like, 12 weeks? It's been 12 weeks, Jada. Where you been? We're 12, we only have six weeks left of school. Here? Here? <laughs> There's only six weeks left of school. Oh. Until what in the semester? Where y'all live? Where y'all at? <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, I need those fabulous facts. You can turn in your standards, so it's just a snapshot. It's not a final grade that goes on your transcript. So right now, if I post grades and you have a C, you can still turn in your standards and get it up. Anyone can get an A in this class, right? Because you can keep redoing standards. No, the answer is yes. I know. <laughs> if you say to me while we're in class, I'm going to do this at home, I'm thinking, hmm, okay. And then you get home and you don't do it. You're right. If you're like trying to get your grade up before, is there any way you can get it cut before? Yeah, I'm going to be posting grades this week. So you got to get it to me this week. You can't do it over the weekend if you want it. I have to post. You know what that means? Like, I save it to the drive, and then that goes on your infinite campus. I know. I am smiling. It is hard. Let me remind you, this is a college-level class. Some people are doing just fine. I would have no. You were doing fine until you miss all these classes. Zane. Okay. Yeah, when you're not here, you don't learn. I'm going to be honest. I, was, I missed Monday last week, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go to school Wednesday. And then Tuesday came, and I was like, oh, my God, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. It just and makes it worse. When you don't come to school, it makes then, everything worse. And then I said, okay, on Friday, I'm going to go to school, and I'm going to catch up. And then Thursday came, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to go. Why do you not want to come? But it just makes your life Other more difficult. You're lucky because lo lots of people have AP classes, like six AP classes. Every class is hard for them. That's not true. That's not true. But like, I mean, like it only. Hold on, I got to answer a question over here. Yeah. 
how can you assess if Adia's development is on in other domains is on track? Like you probably did that for number three because you compared it with three year olds, and so do, is she on track or is she behind? On track means she's doing what she needs to be doing, or is she behind? That's what's asking. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So I wrote three and then four, and then I wrote this is six. This is three five. We'll just erase it then. Do five and then. Yeah. It's if, if it's out of order, it's okay. If you explained it in number three, you don't have to explain it in number six. But if you explained it in number three, saying how she's not, then it's okay. Okay. Did you guys know that this is the one of the easiest periods of your life? No. Yeah, it's kind of scary, isn't it? Well, you said what? Did I said what? I said that you guys think high school is tough. Wait till you get out of high school, you go to college. That's tough. Wait till you get out of college and you're doing life. That's tough. You have to learn how to persevere. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Keep going. I want really meaty answers. Meaty, meaty. You haven't even answered anything yet. You're collecting data. That's the answer, though. Okay. So then what? So then where's okay? It's Fadia and Hammond. You don't have an. Where's Fadia? Right here. Okay. What? She has to. That's not an answer. So you're I know. you're not done with number one yet.